it is where we store all of our vapors and, and tilly and trauma that we trap every time that we go out. Oh, here it is. I'm just replacing my one of my favorite movies, Ghostbuster. <laughs> I just tried to talk in my normal voice and being told that I have a TV host voice. So today, uh, actually I got this from Bold Whole Natural and I was really excited and very happy uh, to get something uh, from Bold. Like, I mean, they're one of the biggest craft breweries in Ontario alone. And, you know, like to be asked if I want to try the new, uh, well, the lamb rule is the half oil and spice brew, 6.5%. And this is the... Ah... Yeah. So... Um, I, I had a piece of paper right there, but uh, unfortunately, uh, my puppy, Wally, ate the paper. Really, really ate my homework. And I know it's true story and everything, so uh, I don't really have a whole lot of information. They had all the information on a piece of paper. But I can tell you right now, so it's the uh, local spring water, organic body mold, organic unfiltered apple juice, organic yarrow, organic tenement, organic clove, organic hops, and the brewery yeast. There's a lot of organic going on. It's a very organic beer right here. So, uh, apple and spice brew. So, let's get into it. And, yeah, let's get into this. Alrighty, here we go. Open that up. Oh, look at that. The bee. I see. That'd be pretty good. Throw it in my little, uh... It's from the Goat Bust if you don't remember this. And let's see what we got here. We got the, uh... I, got, I actually picked this up last night at the World Chili Brewery. Look at that, it's pretty nice. I know, um, you know, both related. Not both related, but I just really nice to point that out. But let's go for it. So here we go. Look at the pour there. Yeah, nice and that. Put that up there. So, how about you? You can see how nice that is. It's almost like a ghost uh, amber color there. Very uh, hazy there for sure. Nice little off white head here. Too. Alright, so I'm picking up some cinnamon. A little bit of clove there. I don't mind where they're getting at the moment, so, cheers. Mm. So, way off the bat, there's a little bite to it. Very sweet. Not very sweet, so much a bit of sweet. Got the Jeffrey Happle juice there. Definitely getting a lot of Happle. Definitely getting the cinnamon and the clove for sure. It's almost like on the, on the verge of being a sour beer, like when you drink it, it's very tart and a little bit sour there. But, you know what? These are the very durable groups, and uh, a lot of the time, I don't tend to go for the group beer because I always find it uh, a little bit underwhelming. And this one is definitely not underwhelming. And you can definitely get this in the LTBO now, and they just wore this out uh, last week, I believe. And it's absolutely really nice. You know, what they're going to do that? So they just did on November 15th. So just about a month ago, they, uh, less than a month ago, they did that. So pretty nice and fresh. Hmm. I really like that actually. It's uh, definitely a really uh, tasty group there. And you definitely can pick up a lot of the half oil it was. And with every dip that you take, there's a lot of half oil going on. Um, again, this is a very uh, enjoyable group. And, uh, and Bo, if always, you know, you know how, how Bo they are. They're always looking for something new and they're doing something new. They're not afraid to cry anything. Like, they are not afraid to cry. And I have a couple more bottles from them, so I'm going to review those. That's the, uh, the Gunko, which I'm really looking forward to. And of course, the big Imp Dow, which is awesome. Um, I had a long time ago. Uh, was it last year? I don't even remember. But uh, anyway, but I'm really excited to uh, review that for you guys on the beer program. And for the waiting, 
if you really enjoyable, I probably would pick it up again, and it's definitely something you could stare at, you know, like a dinner table, you know, Christmas or uh, Hanukkah, wherever the, wherever the holiday you are celebrating. Uh, for me, I probably would buy one for the Christmas dinner, so um, I'm going to go with 3.75 out of 5. It's really good. I mean, you know what, let's call it 4 out of 5. Let's call it even. I'm, I'm not doing a quarter, 3.25 or 3.25. I'm not doing that. I'm going to go try up even number, so 4 out of 5. So it's pretty good beer. So you should get it at the old bureau now and at the brewery. So I highly recommend it. Go get it. So. Here.